So, yet another Winchester night. I won this one in an eBay auction for about the same price that you'd pay for a new case cheetah, which is also similar design to this. It's a swing guard uh, pattern. Um, so I was pretty happy with what I paid for this. I don't think I read the description like at all. Didn't come with a box. That's not really the end of the world for me because I'm not a collector in the traditional sense of collector. Uh, but I do like to have boxes when it's possible. Didn't come with a box. I assume he probably said that, but I wasn't paying attention. I just wanted to bid on it. Um, but this is the Winchester Cartridge Series. Uh, um, let's see if I can get it to focus on the blade here. No, it's too shiny. That's the problem with these high polished blades. It's like impossible to get footage of it. Um, but this is the Winchester cartridge series, and this is the the thirty thirty uh, swing guard. I think there's some different like sizes and everything. But yeah, swing guard. It's got this guard here. It's a lock back, so when you close the knife, the guard swings around with the blade and once again when you open it it swings around with the blade and then it goes into position once the blade locks hence the name swing guard um like i said case makes one they call theirs the cheetah theirs is around you know 70 80 dollars for one of theirs brand new and i think i paid like 75 for this one and this is a uh, winchester made by queen i think this one was 2003 if i remember correctly yeah, 2003. Um, so, you know, later years of the Bill Howard Queen era, I believe. But, you know, knives put together well. Uh, when I got it, it did have a little bit of uh, black spotting on the uh, back spring. And, or not back spring, but whatever this is called. And the lock bar um, there, you can still kind of see that, I think. Um, maybe. Maybe my light's too bright. But anyway, um, and then the blade had a little bit of black spotting up here, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see, especially since I did polish the blade a little bit to try to get that off. Um, but anyway, um, pretty cool knife. Hard to film because of the high polish blade. That's the one thing that does suck about um, like high polish knives is just the... Uh, ridiculousness of trying to film them it's very difficult um but yeah so you know winchester swing guard knife this one's got these like uh amber colored uh jig bone handles on it similar to the rest of the cartridge series um nickel silver bolsters i assume and you know it's a uh, part of the cartridge series. The shield is pinned, I believe. Maybe it's not on this one. Let me see here. No, it's pinned. Shield's pinned. Um, yeah, knives put together pretty well. The only criticism that I really have of this knife is I feel like the um, action on it isn't super well. Like the close action's fine. It is a lock back, but when it locks open. It's kind of uh, uneventful. I don't know. Um, it doesn't seem like it's going to come unlocked or anything. Uh, but, you know, I'm just used to like a lock back really snapping into the lock. Uh, whereas this one doesn't really do that. It just kind of gently snaps into place. Which is fine, and like I said, I think it'll be fine, because it doesn't feel like it's going to come unlocked or anything. It's just not really what I'm used to. But yeah, pretty well made knife. Uh, like all these Winchesters that are made by Queen, uh, I am happy with it. Um, I think people are really getting into like collecting these now, so a lot of the prices on... These Winchester knives are going up because people are starting to realize that these are like great Eastern cutlery quality. And I'm sure my videos aren't helping that. So maybe I should stop making videos on the Winchester knives uh, because in the long run it would probably save me some money. Um, but yeah, they are, you know, really nice knives. 
uh, for about half the price that you're going to spend on a G on a Great Eastern Cutlery on the secondary market. Um, yeah, so added another one of these to the collection. This one didn't even come with a box, so it is going to most certainly get carried and used and everything. Um, some of my Winchester knives don't really get carried, um, especially like the Sunfish knives because they're awkward and have super, super uh, hard back springs and stuff. Like the blades are really difficult to get open and they're just not really convenient to carry. Um, so I don't really carry a whole lot of the Winchester knives other than like my Winchester Moose. I carry the crap out of that and I think now I'll probably carry this a lot. Um, especially since, like I said, it didn't come with a box, but these are nice knives, super nice, like, you know, user knives. If you're looking for a really, really nice pocket knife for you or for like, I don't know, a gift for somebody or something. Um, and you're into, into traditional pocket knives or they're in traditional pocket knives, like maybe your father or grandfather or uncle or whatever, your, your mom, maybe even, I don't know. Um, are into like older style pocket knives. Uh, these Winchester knives are excellent and occasionally you can get them for about the same price as like a case knife, um, but certainly not all the time. Usually they're around $100, $120, if you don't want to try to like bid on an auction on eBay. Um, but yeah, certainly decent knives, certainly worth, you know, $100 or so for a really good pocket knife as far as I'm concerned anyway. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video on this Winchester 3030 uh, swing guard knife. And I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a good day.